Hi, my name is Tiana, and today I am sharing some fun, cheap, and easy DIY gift ideas for any last minute gifts that you may need. So let's get started. The first gift idea I have is a pretty obvious one, and it's been really popular in recent years, and it is some painted mugs. Um, I used a combination of actual acrylic paint and um, paint pens for this. And I don't recommend using Sharpie because in previous years I've used Sharpie uh, markers and even though I love them, they don't work so well for sealing unless you get the ones that are specifically meant for that. Like regular Sharpie DIYs don't last. Um, everyone that I gave them to said that the designs like washed, completely washed off in the dishwasher or they just hand washed it, completely washed off. So unless you have some kind of sealant you can put over it, I would not recommend that. Paint pens are a lot more long lasting and they don't rinse off, um, but definitely let people know to hand wash them because I don't know how well that would hold up in dishwasher. But anyway, this is just a cute mug I made for a friend of mine this year. It says Bunny Mom because she just got a bunny that she's absolutely obsessed with. Um, and then this one says, this is my holiday cheer. I'm going to add like maybe a tree to it or something. Um, it's not yet finished, but I just thought it looked festive and cute and my, uh, topography is not that great but yeah so you can do anything you want you can do a quote you can do just cute like decoration Christmas light uh, drawing whatever you like I'm not the most artistic person but there are plenty of mug ideas all over the internet that you can draw from and use as a reference the next gift idea I have is um, really simple and very customizable to whoever you're giving them to and they are coasters so I got basically like blank, uh, they're called DIY coasters on the uh, Oriental Trading website. That's where I bought them. I think it was $15 for a set of 12. So I split them into four, for three different gifts. So each person will get a set of four coasters. Um, one I did chemistry uh, periodic table themed with different colors. I don't have those yet, they're drying. Um, but these ones I made for my stepdad because he likes movies and so I did a cute little like symbolic photo and a quote from each of the movies I know he loves. So I have one for like Tombstone that has like a tombstone on it um, and it says house coming with me and yeah so that's just like one of the favorite um, quotes that I really like from the movie that I know he loves. And then I did a couple other ones. So that's just a very simple idea. You could just simply do quotes too, especially if you have really good handwriting or you can imitate somebody else's typography style. Uh, other ideas, you could do simple theme, like if you know someone really likes the beach, you could do palm tree theme or seashells or sun and ocean. Um, they're limitless. You could also do constellation coasters, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, I didn't know anybody who might like them, so I didn't make them, except me. Maybe I'll make them for myself. But um, different constellations uh, are super easy to do. You just literally need a gold paint pen, some black paint, uh, and some sealant, which I'm using Mod Podge to seal these and make sure that they don't run. Uh, so basically what you do is you use whatever paint pen or acrylic paint you have and then you just use Mod Podge over the top and that'll make sure it's not sticky and that it's uh, completely sealed so when people set their drinks on these coasters they don't completely like bleed and melt paint all over their cups. Um, but yeah, so that's just a really simple idea. And I mean, they're so easy to customize, to add things to that I think they're a great gift for pretty much anyone. The next DIY gift idea I have is a simple Harry Potter related gift and it is this butter beer um, bottle I guess. I'm just gonna put it in with another gift basket of Harry Potter themed stuff which I um, previously mentioned in my stocking stuffers video about um, how I had the Harry Potter candies and the Harry Potter mystery minis so you could put all that stuff together and that would cost you maybe ten dollars. This cost me three dollars for the bottle at Michael's and um, I just printed this label out from the internet for free. And I used a little Mod Podge over the top. I Mod Podge over the uh, paint which I used, uh, which is regular uh, bronze acrylic paint. And I just Mod Podge over the top so it wouldn't be sticky. 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna put butterbeer in here. I'm gonna make it. There's recipes online, and then I'm just gonna put it in with the gift basket. So it'll be pretty cute and affordable. The entire thing I think will cost me maybe $15 after buying some butterbeer ingredients. So yeah, super easy, super fun, and uh, enjoyable. And people will never realize that you didn't spend a whole lot of money on them. The next idea is a really simple one that I've used for years um, just because I really enjoy it. I love quotes. I love books, uh, like book quotes. <laughs> and so I've used this idea many times depending on who I was gifting it to, the quote would change. And this is a canvas that I made for my mom. And so my mom's heavily Christian so I just picked a Christian quote from the Bible that I really love and that I think she might like and she could put like in her office or something if she wanted to. It's not complicated. I might add like a picture, like maybe a some kind of illustration or symbolism down here if I um, have time, but I just really like it. It's very simple. It's not complicated, but you would buy something like this probably at Michaels or Marshalls or Ross or whatever for like $10 and you can make it yourself. And all I needed for this was some acrylic paint and some paint pens. That's literally all I used. And I bought the canvas, um, I think it was five or 10 bucks at Michael's. So the entire thing probably cost me 10 bucks, uh, 15 if you're gonna go out and buy a set of paint pens. So very cheap, very pretty gift that somebody can enjoy and decorate their office or home with and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. This last gift idea is a little bit incomplete because I haven't gone out and bought the plants yet because I didn't want them to go bad before I could give them to somebody and I didn't want them like sitting around my apartment all weird. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it because uh, I don't think I'll be able to wrap these but they're little pots um, that I bought for like a dollar fifty at Michaels and I just painted them. Uh, this one is just a simple orange color because my friend really likes orange. And then I made these, which I shared on Instagram previously. Um, this is a constellation uh, for the astrology sign of the person that I'm going to be gifting this to. And these pots are originally orange and I just painted it uh, glossy black and then I used a gold paint pen to create the constellation. And then this other one is a cute little unicorn. I love the way this one came out. I used a reference, a mug reference, like they have a unicorn mugs that they sell online and I just used that as a reference to create this unicorn face. Um, I used paint pens, I used a little bit of watercolor for like the little flower crown, and then I used acrylic. Here, I'll just close up so you can see it a little bit better. Here, just a little close up of this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I spent $1.50 on each one of these and I just used whatever paint and paint pens that I had from last year and Mod Podged over the top so that way it's not sticky again, so that way the paint is sealed uh, against any weather or any kind of moisture damage that it might incur if it's gonna be outside because I don't know where people are gonna put these. And then I'm just gonna buy some cute little succulents from Home Depot probably. <laughs> Um, or if I can find organic succulents somewhere at a local nursery, then I'll do that. And yeah, super easy, cute gift. It's just a plant, um, but it's something that cleans the air in a person's home. And I think it's like a nice gift that somebody won't just use and throw away. So I really like that idea and it will not cost me a whole lot of money. So that's always great too. <laughs> So those are the five DIY gift ideas that I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope they inspired you guys to go out and make some gifts for the people on your gift list if you have any left over. And um, it'll save you a lot of money. Super affordable, but still something people can enjoy, which I really love that idea. I don't think that you need to spend a fortune on every person on your gift list. I think people will enjoy things that you make from the heart and that they also can you know use over time and it doesn't necessarily have to be something that they're going to use and dispose of so I really like that um, and it's great if you're on a budget and so without further ado I have another giveaway for you guys today uh, today you guys have the chance to win this amazing Fido Pigments um, Juice Beauty makeup kit and um, I personally loved sharing this in the gift guide. If you didn't see this in the gift guide, do check that out. Um, uh, it's gotta be like a few previous videos from this one. Uh, it's basically a makeup kit that includes a illuminating primer, a mascara, 
um, a beautiful cream blush color and then an amazing vegan um, foundation brush which had this really cool shape to it if you want to see the contents of this definitely check that video out and you'll be able to see it um, in order to enter to win this giveaway all you have to do is like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know uh, did you DIY any of your gifts this year or did you buy them all and what are you getting for people like what did you buy people I'm really curious to know what you came up with or made um, to gift to people this year I'd love to know so please leave me some comments below I'd love to hear some cool gift ideas that maybe I can implement next year for birthdays or whatever so um, yeah and make sure that you're following me on Instagram at Storybook Beauty because I'm going to make giveaway announcements there and I'm gonna try to uh, email people directly if they're connected and I can do that through YouTube so um, definitely leave your comment below and then follow me on Instagram and keep an eye out I'm gonna be announcing this giveaway on December 22nd so keep an eye out for that December 22nd I'll announce on Instagram at Storybook Beauty and good luck and I will see you in the next video bye